We've got some updating news for Bernie Sanders himself. Yes, considering those specifically targeting on Social Security, SSI, SSDI, VA, Survivor. Yes, Bernie Sanders is your advocate for Social Security senior citizens to get that monthly boost. We've got some updated information that come out a few hours ago from Bernie Sanders himself. I'm telling you, this video is loaded with information you're not going to want to miss. One of the things that we're going to talk about is Bernie Sanders warns lawmakers not to go to war on on the working class during the debt negotiations. He understands that so many people are doing everything they can to make ends meet while living with high inflation, high grocery prices. There's a ton of things that are going against Americans and he understands that our senior citizens, those on a low income, those on a fixed income need help the most. So all this video news is right here in this video updated just a few hours ago. Yes, we're here to bring you the updated news from Bernie Sanders himself. This video is loaded with information, but real fast, thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure to hit that subscribe button for your chance to win a free $25 Amazon gift card. We do a giveaway every single Friday for one lucky subscriber. All you got to do is join the family for your chance to win. If you would like to support this channel by buying a t-shirt, a coffee mug, or a face mask, then all you got to do is click on the link down below to buy some merch, and that way you can support the channel. So with all that news being said, let's dive on the screen. So Bernie Sanders warns that lawmakers not to go to war on the working class during debt negotiations. Senator Bernie Sanders on Sunday said he's open to some spending cuts as Congress works out how to deal with the debt ceiling and the threat of default, but knocked House Republicans' recent proposal and warned lawmakers not to go to war against the working class. He said, I think we can move forward toward cutting military spending. We're now spending 10 times more than any country on earth. Massive cost overruns in the Pentagon. I'm certainly open to demanding that the largest corporations in this country and the wealthiest people start paying their fair share of taxes. This is what Bernie Sanders said on CNN. So whether he asked to consider the spending cuts as part as an ultimate deal. He said, ultimately, we've got to make sure that the American people are taken care of, specifically targeting those on a fixed income. Social Security, SSI, SSDI, VA survivor, those that are disabled, understanding that while we are dealing with the debt negotiation, what we should be doing is giving more money to our seniors, more money to those on a fixed income, like the $200 monthly extra checks. Yes, all of this needs to be happening considering that we're dealing with super high inflation. He says, I'm willing to look at any other proposals. There's a lot of waste within the government. Let's go after it, but don't go to war against the working class of this country, against lower income people. Don't tell kids that they can't afford to go to college or cut back on public education in America. We already have too much inequality in America. Let's not make it worse. We understand the Republicans are in control of the House of Representatives. We understand that. But what we do need to do is make sure that our senior citizens, those on a fixed income, are being taken care of. And if it's a boost that we need to provide for them on their monthly checks, then that's what we have to do. If we need to provide $2,400 extra income a year for them to make it, then that's exactly what we need to do. He's willing to look at proposals. He's willing to negotiate. But there again, we have to take care of the American people. Those on a fixed income need to know that we've got their back and that they will not have to worry about the financial side, that their checks are going to be well more than enough. The Republican controlled House last week passed a bill to raise the borrowing limit and cut spending, which is has a little chance of getting through the Democratic controlled Senate. Although Sanders said today that President Biden is right to push for a clean debt limit increase. Instead, what we need is a clean debt ceiling bill. You pay your bills and then you can sit down and negotiate what is a sensible budget, okay? what We got to pay the bills. Bills got to be paid. Medicare, Social Security, we, we understand they've got to get paid. What the Republicans are saying in their budget proposal is that 
at a time of massive income and wealth inequality, when the richest people are becoming more richer, while working class people are struggling, what they won't, don't want to do is cut the programs for nutrition, for education, for health care, and they don't want to throw hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people off health care that need the health care. Sanders also said that Biden can start negotiating tomorrow on spending cuts. But you cannot be holding the American people or the world's economy hostage. What the Republicans have got to say is absolutely, we're going to make sure that we pay our debts. Let's sit down and negotiate a budget. That budget falls in line with Social Security, Medicare, making sure that we pay our bills to those that really need that monthly check. You and I both understand that we're, we're in difficult times right now. Our gas prices are ridiculously high. We've got high grocery prices that really just seem uh, it's, it doesn't make sense for those grocery prices to be so high. So this is where we have to come up with some sort of resolution that provides more income to those that need it the most. Low income, fixed income, disabled, VA survivors, those on Social Security, understanding you guys need help the most. And this is where we want to keep you updated. But Bernie Sanders is working alongside Joe Biden to make this happen. Once they put out more information, we will keep researching to keep you updated. But guys, I want to thank you so much for watching. Your love and support means the world. Thank you again for all that you do. We couldn't do it without you. Make sure to join the family for your chance to win a free gift card. And until next time, I'm John Miro. Peace.